Hey there guys, it's Rich Utsi here with Airgun Web, your home for old school Airgun reviews and where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Today we've got a brand new product from Air Venturi. Yeah, this is an old rifle with a new twist and I'm pretty excited to show it to you. All right, guys, before we get started, definitely want to remind you to check out our Patreon channel and also our Officers Club over at Airgun Army. If you want to get some exclusive behind-the-scenes footage uh, from me and Airgun Angie, or you'd like to get some early access, ads-free versions of our content, definitely check us out. Links will be in the video description. And also, before we get started, I definitely want to say thank you to Pyramid Air, which is our sponsor for this video. They sent this over. I have not opened the box yet. So we're going to unbox this. We're going to go through the features. I'm not going to say what it is yet because you're going to find that out pretty quickly. We're going to go over the features, talk about, you know, the specifications. And then if all works out well, tomorrow I'm headed to the range and we're going to shoot this bad boy. And we're going to do another video and see if the upgrades match the paperwork. So this should be a lot of fun. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up. <coughs> our nondescript cardboard box, right? All right. Let's see here. It's heavy on one end. I think they sent some ammo. Let's see. What end do we have here? We've got the we've got the gun end. So, not the ammo end. Let's pull this out. Oh, just clears the roof there. Okay, so we know it's a Seneca. Yep, there's some ammo down there. Oh, heavy. All right. I do love throwing the boxes. Let's see what we got for ammo. See, I know what we got here. I know this. I requested it. <laughs> All right, for ammo, we have a bag I'm having a hard time getting into. Let's see. All right, so we have... We have 50 caliber, 336 grain slugs. So that should tell you guys what we have in the box here. What we have is the brandy new, that's not brand new, but at least the gun's not new, but this version of it is. We have the new Dragon Claw uh, 2, I guess Gen 2, Mark 2. I don't know what they're doing with that, but let's take a look at this bad boy. And there we are. That is one gorgeous air gun. You guys can't see it. You can see it from top down though, can't you? Let's take it out. We're gonna take it out of the out of the all the stuff here. Okay, so what is the Dragon Claw? Well, first of all, the Dragon Claw is one of those guns, and I've probably mentioned this before. It's one of those guns that oh they've got that's new. That's cool. Uh that actually just so thoroughly intrigued me about air guns that it's probably one of the, I don't know, it may be the the one air gun that just convinced me that I wanted air guns, I wanted to shoot air guns like big time. And I remember reading Tom Gaylord's blog or seeing this thing. Uh, and this is, to, I mean, I'm going back 15 years now and I'm thinking, 50 caliber air gun are you kidding me you know 200 and some odd foot pounds are you kidding me so i know that those numbers today are like nothing right those numbers are like you know hey my uh my 30 cal will almost do that not quite but you know it is a uh yeah we, we've come a long way right but first of all that looks gorgeous. I mean, you guys can see it from top down here. I'm pretty sure it's in frame. Looks beautiful. There we are. This is just straight up a gorgeous air gun. Um, uh, we've got just, it just looks really, really good. Uh, it's got open sights. It's single shot here. Then you just slide this forward. There we go. You put your slug in there. 
shut the breech, get all the way back in there, and you're ready to go. Got to cock it, right? So we've got a brand new cocking lever. You used to screw this in with screws and like this little thing, but they've got you, they got some meat on it now. How does this go in there? It looks like it's just a ball detent. Yeah. That, does it come out? It does. That's very cool. That is awesome. All right, so now we've got something to really grab hold of. Well, that's easy. Let's see if it goes back one more. Oh, yeah, there we are. Now, what we don't want to do is dry fire this. So let's decock it. There it is. So let's feel what that feels like. That's not bad at all. Okay, so this has two settings. It's got low, right, and then high. Get back in there. Uh, high, we'll have to do a straight shot. There it is. Doesn't like to go from low to high. Let's do low. Okay. Can I go to high? There it is. Do low. That's pretty easy. Let's just go straight to high. Oh yeah, that's not bad at all. Okay, I do like that a lot. Before you just had a little finger grab, you really couldn't get a lot of leverage on it, but that is very, very cool. All right, let's talk about some of the things we got going on here. So the big news here, other than they got a different handle on it, they've, they've changed the inside, right? The outside is the same, but the insides, we got more power. Guys, that's basically the deal here. Let me see if I can make that like that and you guys can see it. Can you see it? Can you see that? All right, I really like this gun. <laughs> I have always liked this gun. I have one of these, I have the original one. All right, so first of all, uh, I was shocked to see the price. Now uh, pricing changes. I hate talking about prices on my videos because if you see this three, four, five years from now and the price has gone up, you say, Rick, you said it was that. But right now, and this is August 2023, uh, it's 720 bucks, which uh, given the way pricing has been on air guns lately, um, that ain't bad, really. I mean, we're talking, we'll get to power, at least what they say on paper, all right? But that is really cool. Um, if you like traditional guns, this is not a tactical rail black. This is a very traditional hunting rifle, dual cylinder, uh, 50 caliber, right? So now bore size, when I say 50 caliber, I'm talking about it's 0.495. So it's not the 0.51 that we see uh, like on other guns. This is the old traditional 50 cal, which is 0.495. All right. So let's talk about some of the specifications. Um, and then actually this is the features and then we'll talk about the specs and then we'll go ahead and wrap this up because we're going to get this ready to go shooting uh, out the range tomorrow. So I'm excited about that. All right. So um, uh, if you and if you want to see any of this stuff, we're going to have links to this information. It's just right off Pyramid Air's website. We'll have links right into the video description. You can click on it and get the information easily enough. So they're saying um, the Gen 2 or version two, or the Dragon Claw two, however they're doing it, um, is featuring a hundred uh, foot pounds increase, hundred foot pounds increase. So if we're at 230 with the old one, I say plus or minus, right? I mean, little variations there. So we're looking over 300 foot pounds. That is good. That's excellent, right? Uh, this was an exceptionally useful and viable air gun back in the day at 230 foot pounds. So now we're at three and some change. That's even better, right? That's good news for all of us. Um, let's see. Uh, looks like they tested 177 and 336s. That makes sense because that's what I would use. Um, not that, I mean, it makes sense. That's what I use. Okay, <laughs> just <laughs> came out funny. Um, let's see. So uh, you're looking at a peak of 850 to 860. Uh, and yeah, so you're getting a bunch of shots and the heavies you're getting, that's with round ball. And with the heavies are saying three, six, or excuse me, 665 to 675. I mean, obviously we're going to test all that. One of the things I love about this is because you have two power settings, um, the way the valving works, you need to hit it hard up front, but as you get lower in the pressure, 
you can actually shift from high power to low power and actually maintain a pretty decent shot curve. So I've done that with my old Dragon Claw with round ball, shoot the first few shots on high, and then as you as the pressure gets going lower, you don't need to hit the valve as hard, so you can switch to the low power and you maintain your shot curve a little bit better and you get more shots at, the, at similar power output. So a little trick there. Um, maybe we'll do another video just testing how that works on this. Um, all right, so these are some of the features, a single shot, rifle barrel, um, bolt action. Now we've already talked about the better, longer cocking handle. This is a big deal. Because the other one not only had, had like screws and they could be stripped out uh, it's no fun if you happen to do that, but this, that it just kind of pops into place there, a little ball detent, that is very, very cool. That was a big deal. That's a, that's a good change. We got a fixed front sight. We got adjustable rear sights. So if you like open sights, you're a traditional shooter, you want open sights. This, this is awesome. And the reality is this is a 50 yard gun and Really, you should be able to hit, like, uh, I would say if you could put up, a good way to test is if you could put up a bunch of uh, clay pigeons and you could hit those with open sights at 50 yards, you can hunt with this without a scope and you'd be good to go. Um, that's about a good um, large game kill zone, you know, about like that. If you could hit that at 50 yards with open sights, and you could do, they, this gun is way more accurate than that, but open sights does bring a, a bit of a challenge in, doesn't it? Um, okay, so it's got a 500cc um, dual air chamber, which is very cool, so you have a lot of volume. Um, it's 3,000 PSI. Now, I like that because if you are, I didn't bring it with me, I have a little pony bottle. And a little pony bottle, I could fill to 4,500. And if I'm out in the woods, I could throw that in my backpack. And let's say I shoot a few shots and I want to top it off so I'm at the optimal range, right? Well. Heck, I just pull my pony ball up, give it a little squeak, and yeah, we're back at 3,000 PSI, which is very, very cool, right? So if we, a lot of these big bore guns are wanting 4,500 PSI now, well, unless you're going to carry around a portable compressor with you all the time, you're only going to get that once off a bottle, and then you're, all, you're only ever going to get less. Uh, it's got a built-in gauge. That's pretty typical. It's got 11 millimeter rail. I mean, it'd be nice if they did like a pick rail, right? But yeah. That's me being picky, haha, <laughs> bad joke. Um, okay, we talked about the two power levels. We're saying up to 340 uh, foot-pounds with the 336s. It's gonna be less with the um, round ball because just not as, they're not as heavy, so it's gonna be a little less, but we'll, we'll test that. Uh, it also shoots the Seneca air bolts, and they're talking 600 feet per second with the air bolts, and I have taken a pig with the old 50 cal with an air bolt this was many many years ago and i hit that pig in the shoulder it blew through both shoulders and shattered the arrow we never did find all of it and it dropped that pig like a bad habit um one of the most lethal lethal things i've ever seen in my life just awesome so uh, if you want to be like hunt whatever you want uh you can get a big juicy broadhead uh throw it on the air bolt and this thing will drive them that is it's it's scary, uh, deadly. Um, just you have that as an option if you want to do it. All right, it is single shot. We know that weight is eight point five pounds. She's beefy. Um, trigger pull, yeah, it's seven and a half pounds here on the paper. We'll test that. Um, it is. Uh, it always has been um, sort of a trigger that is. Yeah, it's, it's not a match trigger, guys. It's hunting trigger. Seven and some change um, is what it is, right? Uh, I've not had any problems with it giving me any accuracy issues. It's just, it's not a match trigger. So if you're going into it thinking, oh, I've got to have a 13 ounce trigger, Travis, hi. Um, yeah, then this ain't going to be that gun for you. Uh, but it's perfectly serviceable. Um, and I've shot these a lot. So they're, they're good to go. Manual safety is definitely a hunting gun, 50 cal, we know all of this. Um, it's very loud. I don't think we have, oh, we do have. Um, it's threaded. I don't know how you could use those threads, however. Um, it looks like this is gonna obstruct the use of that without some sort of an adapter. So I don't think, I think it's just gonna be loud. Um, 
yeah, I think that's basically it. The rest of the stuff we've covered. 500 cc, 300, or excuse me, 3000 PSI. So you guys know all about it, at least what we have here on paper. If you want to know stuff I've missed or forgotten, you want to check it out, go to the website. I'll put the link in the video description. You guys can check that out. But this is the Seneca Dragon Claw 2, uh, 100 extra foot pounds. Um, does it deliver? Well, we're going to find out. And I'm like super pumped uh, to actually get this out in the range. I've been really excited to get this. So um, yeah, I've always loved this gun. As I said, I have the regular 50 cal. I, I like it a lot. It has served me well as just a fun gun to go shoot. And if I ever wanted to go hunting, it's certainly a viable option. This with more, uh, more power on tap has me intrigued. So I'm looking forward to trying it out. Guys, that's going to be it for now. I um, want to say thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to check out our sponsors, I'll have all the links in the video description. And if you want to check out some exclusive content, some exclusive behind the scenes content, or some early access ads free content, check out our Patreon channel and also the Officers Club over at Airgun Army. Again, I have links in the video description. My name is Rick Uster here with Airgun Web, your home for old school airgun reviews where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Thanks for watching.